Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy J Clips back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace and zero gap your cutting blades on your cordless wall magic clip and on your cordless and this T outliner. Let's get it. All right, so as you can see, I have my cordless wall magic clip, the metal edition, and I have the cordless T outliner. Um, you're gonna need a screwdriver, a couple um, different sizes of a Phillips screwdriver bit. And then I have my ceramic blades that I got off of Amazon. Um, I'll list the link in the description below so you guys can grab those if you want. Um, so first we're just gonna start off by unscrewing both screws on the cordless wall magic clip. Um, it's gonna have a lot of hair in it probably because you don't really take the blades off that often um, to clean them out. So you wanna try to do this about once a week is what I like to do. And um, just go ahead and take off the blades, open it up, clean all the hair out, blow all the hair out if you have an air compressor. Um, just get it all nice and clean so everything keeps running smooth. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the blades and I'm gonna clean those off as well and then set them to the side. So once you're done cleaning out the blades, just go ahead and set them down. Pick up the new cutting blade that you wanna put on your wall detailer. Um, I ordered a ceramic one off of Amazon. Um, again, like I said, I'll put that in the description below, um, but just click it in there. Sometimes it clicks in, sometimes it kind of just rests in there, um, but you'll see once you start doing it. And then you just put the still blade on top of it line it up with the holes for the screws, drop those in there. And then when you tighten them down, you wanna just get them snug. You don't wanna tighten them too tight because what we're gonna do next to zero gap them, we're gonna want it loose enough to move the blade around a little bit, but not too loose where it's just kind of flopping around because you want it to kind of give you some resistance and that's gonna help you get the zero gap um, as close or as perfect as you need it to be. So I'm gonna just loosen those up just a tiny bit because it was just a little too tight. So now I'm gonna close the clipper all the way and then I'm gonna use both of my fingers on my left hand to kind of pinch the blade in so I have like maximum control over the blade. And I just kind of wiggle it around until it's nice and even and as close to the moving blade as I want it to be. So then once it's close, I turn on the clipper and that way I can kind of see it moving back and forth and it helps you see that top line um, a little better. So you can really tell if you have it even or not. Once it's even across the top, I make sure it's even on the sides. And then this part, you want to slowly tighten it. Little by little, if you just go in and you just tighten one side as hard as you can, it's going to move the blade. So work your way back and forth um, start with one, slowly tighten it, go back to the other, slowly tighten it, just go back and forth until you can get it pretty tight. You don't want to over crank it, but just get it tight enough to where it's not going to come loose once you start using your clipper. So now that I have everything right where I want it, I'm just going to double check it, turn on the clipper again, make sure that top line is nice and even. You don't want one side sticking up, you know, to where you nick your client. So you still want it nice and even still underneath that still blade a little bit um all right so next up we got my cordless and t outliner um i got the ceramic blade for this as well off of amazon again i'll link that in the description below so you guys can grab it if you would like um but you just kind of start out the same way you just unscrew the two screws on the back take them all the way out and then there's going to be hair in between the blades again so you just want to take those apart get everything nice and cleaned up and then um there's going to be a little black piece attached to the blade you'll see here in a second 
You just wanna go ahead and pop that off, get that cleaned up, get the moving blade cleaned up, get the steel blade cleaned up, and then set it to the side um, to get ready for your next step. Okay, so now that you have everything cleaned up, go ahead and put your new ceramic cutting blade um, on the steel blade of your T-outliner. Um, and this is where it's a tiny bit different from the last one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set them in here together. They'll kind of click on to each other. And then um, there's two screws that you're gonna wanna unscrew. And it's kind of the same idea as the last one. You want it to be snug, but not too tight because we wanna be able to move that blade around. Um, I, it fit in there pretty good and it's already zero gap to how I want it. Um, so I'm going to just try it out the way it is first without adjusting anything. So I just went ahead and popped on that black piece, um, real quick and then lined up the two metal prongs on the inside and, um, lined up the holes for the screws on the back. I'm going to screw those in and then, um, I'm going to go off screen for a second and kind of test out the clipper on my arm. I like to do it right underneath my elbow crease. To me, I feel like that's a pretty sensitive area on my arm. So if it hurts at all, or if it bites or makes any type of red line, then I know that it's probably gonna do that to my client's neck. So at that point, what I would do is just take everything back off and then readjust the blade. It just means that it's a little too close um, to be able to use that on someone's neck or someone's lineup. Last thing you want to do is scar someone up because your clippers are set too close. So my clipper here, um, it was good, but I didn't like feel anything at all. So to me, I feel like I can set it a little closer. Um, I'm going to zero gap them just a tiny bit more. So you'll see this whole process right here. I just go ahead and unscrew everything. I'm going to take the black piece off. And then now you're going to see me kind of loosen up the two screws underneath the blade. And that's gonna allow me to slide that blade around and get it exactly how I want it. All right, so just like the other clipper, I'm gonna unscrew these and then I'm gonna use my fingers and my thumbs to kind of move the blade up and down. Um, and you want to put it as close as you can to being flush with the steel blade without being flush with the steel blade, if that makes sense. Because if you're too close and too even with that steel blade, then you're going to be cutting up your clients. So with this one, you just want to make sure you're just right underneath it. Um, you want to check it from both sides, kind of look down the blade also. And then once you get it where you want it, you want to pinch that blade tight so it doesn't move on you. And you're going to want to do the same technique where you kind of tighten up the top screw and then you're gonna tighten up the bottom screw a little bit, work your way back and forth, and then check it as you're going to make sure that um, you didn't get off at all. And with the trimmers, it's really important. If you're off a little bit and one of the corners is closer than the other, your client's definitely gonna feel it. So um, make sure that you get it nice and even, take your time. And then what I like to do once I get it pretty snug and I have it where I want it. I pinch the blade super tight and then I'll put it down on a surface um, and kind of press into the surface with my blade. And it just allows me to kind of tighten everything up as one. And then I can screw down the screws a little tighter um, and get everything right where I want it. So then once you do that, you want to put everything back on, put the black piece on, line it up with the metal prongs. And then you want to screw in the screws. And then again, it's very, very important that you check your trimmer before you use it on somebody because you could easily set it too close and then you're gonna cut someone's neck, 
cut someone's forehead. Um, you definitely don't want to do that. So check it on yourself. Check it on your arm, um, on a sensitive part of your arm. And if it doesn't hurt and it feels good, then you should be good to go. So I'm going to check it really quick. And then once it's good, then you just check it one more time. Make sure everything's nice and even. Clean it up. And that's it, guys. It's super simple. And that's changing out your moving blade and zero gapping the cordless T outliner and the cordless wall detailer. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, the next video I post will be a haircut tutorial and I'll be using these clippers so you'll get to see how they, how they perform. Um, I'm sure they're gonna be great. So you guys stay tuned, let's get it.